Hello and welcome back here to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit. If this card looks familiar, you guys remember the HTC series. We're here at one of the HTC rounds to talk about the exclusive car releases that I will be doing here on the channel and everything like that. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media. I'll just find the description box below. Let's take a look at the cars. So recently I've been going through my massive car list of cars that I've built that never actually either used or released to the public and I'm going to be doing releases to Patreons of any tier. So if you guys aren't a member of my Patreon page, make sure you go down and get a part of the Patreon. Any tier will be getting these cars. There's four cars. The four cars you just saw got released are the first set that you will get as a Patreon, including the track and all that stuff as well but I will be going through my car list and releasing all these cars that I've never released before to you guys. Some of them have models that are slightly rough. Some of them are perfectly good, clean, and ready to go. Just never released them. So we're going to take a look at, obviously, the HTC 350Z, which is built more for Gymkhana style. So we're just going to run it at layout to see if we can still uh, get this because this was a fun layout. See if we can still rock this track here for today. Oh, I forgot how tight this was. So this HTC Z was my competition Z. I competed and took second overall in the HTC championship for the first season. So definitely a fun car. A lot of people were wanting to get their hands on this car. So this is your chance to drive my HTC competition car in all its V8 glory. I'm trying to remember the track layout. I'm not doing too bad. Oh, there's two cone hits. And then we will take a look at the other cars. One of them is my buddy Christmas's favorite cars that we were testing for my original Drift Invitational, which I have a bunch of other cars that I had originally built for a Drift Invitational that will be getting released on the Patreon page as well. So make sure you guys go down there if you guys want to get your hands on these Invitational cars and all these exclusive cars. There's a bit of a thank you guys to being supporters of the channel and of course the patreon and everything like that and like i said any tier will be able to get all these cars this isn't for like say the higher tiers any level tier will get these cars as i release them I'm going to be doing a couple of months so make sure you guys follow me on instagram to find out when new ones are dropping as well as here on youtube of course I am really surprised that I'm doing as well as I am right now. I haven't driven this track since the competition. We're not doing too bad. So we're going to go switch it up to that BMW M235 as I stall it. M235 drift car. And we're going to hit up OSW because it's definitely a fun track. And we'll take a look at the other two Mad Fabs cars that are in the first release of my vault of cars. So we're at Orlando Speed World in the M235 drift car. This was based off of the Kunos, obviously, M235 race car. Big old fireballs out of the back. And we did do some interior changing and physics and wheel change and stuff like that. This was one of the first cars that was going to be in the Drift Invitational. Never actually got around to doing that, but the cars are going to be coming out to you guys as well. Like I said, this is Christmas's favorite car. 
I just love how it sounds. This car is such a blast drive. Let's see if we can't get this track in one run. Manage the bumps. I'd say that's a very solid run in this car for a first run out, a little 360 for style, run the inner bank. So we got two more cars that we're going to be taking a look at, and these cars were based off of two of Real Friends cars, uh, my buddy Drift Dave and his teammate Matt, Mad Fabs S14 M180 SX. So let's go take a look at them. So the next car up is the S Corvette powered S14 of my buddy Dave and we are here at the US Drift Kill Care track. So this car was meant to mimic his real car so that he could shred on here and get some practice. The little internal joke that him and I have is the fact that his cluster is backwards. The tachometer is backwards because when I was doing the modeling and flipping the dash and everything I forgot to flip the tack. And he just laughs every time he gets in the car. So we kind of just left it as like an internal running joke. So if the cluster's backwards, that's why. So we're going to hit up the U.S. Drift Round 2 track here at Kill Care. See if we can't rip it in this car. Corvette powered S14. Oh, I forgot this car has a lot more power than I'm ready for. And... It is on street tires, so there's that. Getting back and driving some of these cars that I first started working with is very crazy to see. See, the angle lock in this car is to mimic his real car, and my newer cars have so much more angle than this car does. So we're definitely going to have to get another run on that because I don't want to, you know, <clears throat> botch the first run here. It was also uh, pretty uh, chilly on the track. I think it's like 8 in the morning. I think I accidentally set it for 8 in the morning, but we're going to go full send. We're starting like a Matsuri here. So let's see if we can get this track on the second try. Same thing. It's okay. He always wall taps his car at every single event, so I'm just doing the car justice on exactly what he'd be doing if he was driving the car as well. Nowhere near high enough there, but don't have any type of setup on this car right now. But not bad in the latter parts. So we got one more Mad Fabs car to take a look at. That is the 180SX. That car is one of my favorite cars to drive. It was the basis for my missile car and everything like that. So let's switch up cars. We're going to drift it here too, but we're going to switch it up to that one. So the last car is that Mad Fabs 180SX, you know, lost in the sauce on the back. Definitely had a lot of fun building these cars. This car was the first car that I started working with chrome decals and learning how to do all that. So it was definitely a pretty good and fun time, but you can see the progression of my modeling in these cars from this car to the HTC car to the cars that I have now, my competition cars and everything like that. So you can see we can't get this 180 to be solid. little wall tap this was the original physics base that I gave to Christmas also when he was first learning how to drift in his s13 the missile 13 that a lot of you guys love as well as my missile 180 and as you can see much more stable on this car than that Corvette powered s14 but so I hope you guys are going to enjoy all of these lost in the archives I would say drift cars that I've never released out to the public you guys can grab them if you guys are any tier of patreons you guys will get exclusive content throughout the months as a big thank you for supporting me and the channel send it oh we're dead oh we are done so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all this around the description box below. If you guys want to pick up these cars and all the cars coming up from my list of cars, there's a couple more drift invitational cars such as Corvettes and a few other cars, Corvettes, Mustangs, and stuff like that. 
So make sure you guys follow me on all social media. I'll check out in the description box below. I'll catch you guys on the track.